The True Miracle Man Omar Alep Dalawi is a force to be reckoned with and a source of great inspiration. The Galatasaray player almost had his career cut brutally short, but through perseverance and the magic of medicine, he's been able to continue living his dream of being a professional footballer. How did he lose his sight? But more importantly, how did he recover from blindness to eventually return to the pitch? Without further ado, this is the story of Omar Aleb Dalawi, the Miracle Man. I can't see, I can't see. This is what Omar Aleb Dalawi screamed to a friend during a New Year's Eve party in 2020, an evening which would change the footballer's life forever. Galatasaray's Norwegian star almost lost it all. On this fateful evening, a firework exploded in the face of Aleb Dalawi. Gunpowder and metal pierced through his skin and his eyeballs. His jacket even caught on fire. We can't even imagine the horror that must have befallen him and the fear it must have caused. I just thought I had something in my eye and had to clear it out, but then I felt my face totally burning and everything was black. I didn't really have control over the first few days. Everything was dark. I didn't know if it was night or day. As the days passed, fear and anxiety would take hold, in large part due to the doctor's reluctance to reveal the extent of his injuries. They didn't dare tell him the truth. Voices become so much louder as you hear everything when you can't see. The longer it took, the more afraid I was. Deprived of his vision, Omar couldn't comprehend what was happening. In order to understand, he wanted the truth. I tried desperately to understand, but it was difficult. Because of all the gunpowder, my face was burned. I think it was difficult for them to say how bad it was straight away. In one moment, I grabbed the doctor to say, just tell me the truth, tell me how bad it is. And the truth was what the doctors provided. She said, your left eye doesn't look too bad, but your right eye, we do not know. But the way she said it, I knew it was not good. He even became afraid of the dark. I didn't dare to sleep. As soon as I got a bit of light after a few days in my left eye, I was afraid to sleep as I was afraid of the darkness, so I was afraid to close my eyes. But as the days and months passed by, fear turned to hope. A glimpse of vision would return to Abdullawi's eye, enabling him to recognize shapes and colors. This propelled Galatasaray's club doctor to spend hours searching for a specialist that could help recover his sight. He would eventually find his man in the shape of Dr. Edward Holland, the man that had pioneered the corneal transplant procedure. Corneal transplants have a high success rate when the ocular surface skin is in a healthy condition, but that wasn't the case for Aleb Dalawi. His iris was opaque. To make matters worse, a third of his eyelid had been destroyed. A program was created that would allow Aleb Dalawi's eye to heal to the point at which a corneal transplant could be considered. These stages were then accelerated in order to give him the best possible opportunity of his resuming his career. But Dr. Holland gave him just a 5 to 10% chance of regaining his sight. Feeling the grass underneath his boots was still a long way off. In the face of such slim odds, many would have lost all hope and motivation. Dr. Holland even said it was one of the worst eye injuries he'd witnessed in his 35-year career. In addition, the doctor considered it to be four times worse than an injury suffered by an American soldier left blinded by a bomb in Afghanistan. Things weren't looking good for the Norwegian international. We weren't lying when we said he was the miracle man. Numerous processes were therefore put in place. Firstly, the eye would have to be stabilized through anti-inflammatory medication. Then, without going into too much detail, Doctors created a pseudo-skin with amniotic membrane, which would act like a bandage, allowing the eye to heal and regenerate. We hope we're not losing you here. The doctors could then move on to a vital step, restoring vision. The player's sister, Ikram, was found to be the perfect donor in terms of the ocular surface stem cell. As a result, she would have to undergo a transplant. Ocular stem cells from both his sister and an anonymous donor would allow Omar's eye to recreate its own skin maximizing the chances of the planned corneal transplant being successful. The procedure was a success and Aleb Dalawi's vision returned. The Norwegian was understandably relieved for both he and his sister's sake. He struggled to contain his happiness. It was really special. I do not know how to put it into words. You can try to imagine, but I do not think it's possible for anyone else who hasn't been in the position. I was taking off the patch and had a bit of vision. I was closing my left eye and could actually see my hand on my right side. I could see all the movements on my right side that I hadn't. It was a miracle, like a dream come true. Despite undergoing innumerable operations, 
Aleb Dalawi carried on working on his fitness in hope that he'd grace football pitches once again. He even trained with a fitness coach from the NFL team Cincinnati Bengals. Sessions were a source of motivation. That saved me. That kept me alive. I'm not going to lie. Without that, I would not have been able to survive all the way. That was my real escape. I started training early on and I put in my mind that I would be going back to play no matter what. Every time I had a really good hard session, I would sweat everything out. I could feel I was still capable, strong, and still alive. Without his daily workouts, his recovery would not have been the same, rendering his potential return even more unlikely. Training for me was everything. I remember the first few weeks when I could not train, if I had a delicate procedure or operation. They were the most difficult times, and Holland understood that and would make sure I trained when I could. The training and visualizing training with the team was something that kept me alive. After such an arduous battle, he returned to training with a new look reminiscent of Edgar Davids. His teammates were elated to see him back on the pitch and were inspired by the character he had shown. Baffetim B. Gomis and Ryan Babel were quick to share their admiration. It's an indescribable feeling to win with a player as courageous and professional as Omar El Abdelawi. You've conquered this challenge with such power and your return to the pitch epitomizes your determination and willingness. We're so proud of you, Omar. It's fair to say the memories of these days and weeks when his return was inching closer will forever be etched in his mind, especially the 12th February 2022, the date on which he would make his return to the squad for a league game against Kai Sarispor. In the end, he wouldn't make it onto the pitch, but just being there was a victory in itself. He would then make his full return just days later as his side faced Gustape on the 21st of February. He would start it right back and go on to play the full 90 in a 3-2 win for his side. After the match, his unbridled joy was for all to see. I went through a very difficult time. Now I feel fantastic. It's like I'm living a dream of being a professional footballer for a second time. We're not surprised. You've got so much to be proud of, Omar. At the time of writing, Eleb Dalawi had gone on to make four appearances. Who would have thought it? Having your vision restored is a miracle in itself. But making your return as a professional footballer? Hats off. What a story. Omar Eleb Dalawi's journey serves as proof that you should never give up in life. What mentality. What a character. Do you think Omar Eleb Dalawi will return to the pitch stronger than ever after his horrific ordeal? Can he carry on playing at the highest level? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you soon for a new video. But for now, football forever. If you liked this video on Omar Aleb Dalawi, we're sure you'll like this one. What happened to these 12 incredible talents who had their careers ruined by injury? Click here to check it out.